welcome to another episode of Homework with Ms. Thomas. I am Ms. Thomas, and today we will be exploring Lesson 9 and Module 1. The objective is to use place value understanding to round multi-digit numbers to any place value. Let's jump right into it. All right, for the first set of numbers, we are rounding to the nearest thousand. So I want to first highlight how many thousands are in the number. And then I'll know that the, num the number is between that number of thousands and one more. Then I'm gonna look at the number that is to the right. Half of 1,000 is 500. So if it's more than 500, I round up. If it's less than 500, I round down. So looking at A, we have 6,842. This is between six and 7,000. I would round up to 7,000 because that number is more than 6,500. For B, we have 2,700. 22, so this is between two and 3,000. I would round up to 3,000 because this is more than 2,500. For letter C, 16,051, we have 16 thousands, right? I'm going to unbundle that 10,000 into thousands too. So this is between 16 and 17,000. I would round down because this is less than 16,500. So I'm gonna round down to 16,000. And for D, we have 706,421. I'm gonna unbundle the 10,000s. I'm gonna unbundle the hundred thousands all into the thousands so we have six hundred seven hundred six so this is between seven hundred six and seven hundred seven this is less than five hundred or seven hundred six thousand five hundred so I would round down to seven hundred six thousand says explain how you got your answer for part D I'm going to say, I noted there were 706,000, so this or the, the, or this number is between 706,000 and 707,000. It is less than 706,500, so I rounded down to 706,000. We're rounding to the nearest 10,000. So this time we're gonna be counting the number of 10,000s. For A, we have eight ten thousands. So this is between 80,000 and 90,000. Half of 10,000 is 5,000, and this is more than 5,000. So I would round up to 90,000. For letter D, I have 80,000 again, right? So this is between 80,000 and 90,000. This is five or more, right? This is more than 85,000, one more, but still more. So I'm gonna round up to 90,000. Here we have 78 10 thousands because that 100,000 is unbundled in 2000s. So 78, 10,000, so it's between 78 or 780,000 and 79, 10,000 or 790,000. This is more 
then 785,000, so I round up to 790,000. For D, we have 90 ten thousands, so this is either 90 or 91 ten thousands. I would round up to 91 ten thousands, which is 910 thousands. For E, it says explain why two numbers have the same answer. So we have the same answer for A and B, and really for both of them. So both are, or I'll say both numbers, and this is in part A and part B, are between 80,000 and 90,000. For 88,999, we round up because it is more than 85,000. For 85,001, we round down because, or we round up to 90,000 because it is more than 85,000. And it's just more, right? It's only one more. But even with that one more, we still would round up. We also need to write another number that has the same, that has the same answer when rounded to the nearest 10,000. So I'm gonna write another number would be, now this number needs to round to the nearest, um, it needs to round to 90,000 when rounded to the nearest 10,000. And so I'm going to say 80, 10, or eight ten thousands, which is 80,000. It needs to round to 90,000, so the thousands has to be five or more thousands. So I'm gonna say 6,321. All right, for number three, we're gonna round to the nearest 100,000. So in this first one, 89,659, there's zero hundred thousands. So this is between zero hundred thousands and one hundred thousand. It is more than half of 100,000, which is 50, right? So this is more than five, 50,000, I should say. So we're going to round up to 100,000. For B, we have 700,000. This is more than 750,000. So we're gonna round up to 800,000. For C, we have 600,000, so it's between six and 700,000. This is less than 650,000. So we're gonna round down to 600,000. And for D, we have 800,000. This is less than 850, so we round down to 800,000. For E, explain why two problems have the same answer. Write another number that has the same answer when rounded to the nearest 100,000. Okay, so we have two 800,000. I'm gonna say both numbers are 
well, not both numbers. I'm going to say 751,447 is between 7 and 800,000. And you round up because it is more than 750,000. For 817,245, it is between eight and nine hundred thousands. But for this one, you round down because it is less than 850,000. So another number would be, let's say 792,000. 221 because this one would, this one would, one would be between 7 and 8 and it's more than 750 just like 751,447 was and so we were round up to 800,000 let's move on to 4 we're going to solve each problem using pictures numbers and words at president Obama's inauguration in 2013, the newspaper headline stated that there were 800 people in attendance. If the newspaper rounded to the nearest 100,000, what is the largest number and the smallest number of people who could have been there? Okay, so I'm going to use a tape diagram, I mean a number line. And I'm going to do two, actually. So I'm going to start with 800,000 on the high end. On the low end would be 700,000. And in the middle would be 750,000. All of these numbers here from 750,000 to that 800,000 would be rounded to 800,000. If I had 800,000 on the low end, now I'm putting at the bottom instead of the top, I would have 900 at the top and 850 as my midpoint. So everything less than 850, because we know that 850 we would round up. Everything less is also rounded to 800,000. So the smallest number is 750, right? 750 we round up. to 800,000, um, the largest number is 
849,999. Right? Because if I'm rounding this to the nearest 100,000, then I have 800,000. I would round down to 800,000. Let's move on to B. President Bush's inauguration in 2005, at President Bush's inauguration in 2005, the newspaper headline said it that they stated that there were about 400,000 people in attendance. If the newspaper rounded to the nearest 10,000, what is the largest number and the smallest number of people who could have been there? So I'm gonna do two number lines again. This time rounding to the nearest 10,000. I'm going to put 400 on my high end, so that's 40 ten thousands, so the low end would be 39 ten thousands or 390, and the midway point would be 395,000. Everything greater, 395 and greater. All will be rounded to 400,000. If I have 400 on the low end, that's 40,000. So the high end will be 41, not 41, that 41 10,000, sorry. So that's 41 10,000s, 40 10,000s on the bottom, or 400,000, 400. 10,000 or 41 ten thousands on the top and the halfway mark would be 40 ten thousands and then five right thousands because half of ten thousand is five thousand so I'm adding that to the bottom number everything less then 405,000 rounds to 400,000, to the nearest 10,000. So, the smallest number is 395 people. The largest number is 404,999, right? I chose the number right before 405,000. Um, and I can check it here. I have 40 ten thousands. This is less, this is five or less, or I'm sorry, less than five. So we would round down to 40 ten thousands or 400,000. All right, I want to see. At President Lincoln's inauguration in 1861, the newspaper headline stated that there were about 30,000 people in attendance. If the newspaper rounded to the nearest thousand, what is the largest number and the smallest number of people who could have been there? I'm gonna do two number lines again. I'm gonna put 30,000 as my high number. That is 30 thousands, so one less would be 29 thousands, and midway would be 29,500. Everything 29,500 or greater rounds to 30,000. Now I'm gonna put 30,000 on the low end. On the high end, one more would be 31,000. Halfway would be 30,500 
because half of 1,000 is 500. So I'm going to add 500 to the bottom number. Everything less than 30,500 rounds to 30,000. So the smallest number is... 29,500 people. The largest number is 30,499, right? Because this is um, 30,000. It's less than 30,500. So we will round down to 30,000 people. All right, that concludes lesson nine in module one. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next time, keep learning, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.